all these guys have Twitters and things. Follow them if you haven't already. They're all amazing. USC Smash Club is really an excellent community, and I'm so glad that players like Demon were able to make it out here for the first time today. Alright, so here we go. We are seeing the red Toon Link. We are seeing the green Bayonetta with the Bayonetta 1 design. My personal preferred one as well. And we are seeing Demon get a nice bit of damage on here onto Marvelous Marco as the set begins. Just some nice combos with those special moves. Ines, Axor, 13. Okay, so now we're seeing some damage coming off here. Mar Marco in a lot of trouble, not gonna lose his stock off the top there, but now with this percentage 114 and counting, this is an incredibly stressful situation for Marco, but he's not acting like it. That's the interesting thing. He does He's not playing like a man who's down considerably. He's playing like a person who's just trying to get a feel for the matchup, stay in neutral, rolling through that forward smash there, not wanting that to take his life there. Um, and yeah, so stream, we are on game one here. It is a fresh set. We just saw Debo defeat PSI guy in the Ditto and then the Nesmarth matchup. And before that, we saw Demon beat Muffin from Mars to get to this point in winner's quarters. And we're seeing a dash attack from Demon there not connecting because it got interrupted by the boomerang. And this is what I meant earlier about Mark, right? He was playing like he was not down because... Even though he's been about to lose his stock for a good minute or two now, it wasn't until just now that it finally happened. And in the process, he managed to get Bayonetta to 112%. The arrow stuffing out the afterburner kick there, just so good. Those projectiles at beating Bayonetta's approach options. But Demon playing this very well in the sense that he isn't in a rush to approach, right? He's just really waiting for Marco to give him just the slightest opening. To get one of his trademark massive combos. Mark showing some restraint there, hitting the boomerang, not able to follow up off of it. And the bat within, always a great tool for Bayonetta, still at a very dangerous percent, but just racking up this damage. I mentioned earlier, Mark was playing like he wasn't at a high percent, and now Demon's doing the same thing. Like, he's being cautious, sure, but he's not overdoing it. He's still being aggressive and getting that damage that he needs. Oh, that will almost certainly be the stock there. The bullet hurts racking at like 3% more before the KO there, but Mark just really smart to hold shield there and do the back throw, but not smart to neutral get up into a giant demon fist. So demon up a full stock here, and th this is honestly pretty huge because it's going to be a while, I think, before Mark will be able to take this stock unless he pulls out something very explosive very soon. Toon Link's just not the type of character that takes really quick stocks like that, typically. And now look at this percent. And 89 off the top. Demon just running away with that game. Two stock. Incredible performance from him. And Mark is going to have to figure something out here fast if he wants to combat this Bayonetta play because if that happens to him again, you know, a couple more times... That's going to be a trip to loser's bracket and potentially a trip for Demon to winner semis of this tournament, winner side top eight, but obviously not there yet. And Mark is 100% not out of this. He can totally turn this around and beat Demon just as badly as Demon beat him. Even going as far as to say that the stage was not the reason he lost there. So a little bit stubborn, but at the same time, I do respect it. I feel like he really just wants to show Marco here. He wants to show Demon here, sorry, that he has what it takes to hang regardless of the stage pick. But this is going very similar to the last game, unfortunately, for Marco. Just 91% in his name and just getting hit by all of these approaches coming in from Demon. Just really closing that space so effectively, which is, mind you, not an easy task at all against Toon Link, who can just really chip away at you with boomerangs, arrows, bombs, but Demon having none of it, just not being phased by anything here. And I love the use of the aerial kick as the combo starter there off the ground instead of the grounded one, because look what he's able to get off of it. And 
Will he be able to get the KO here? No, but some excellent damage and followed by a Witch Time. Amazing Witch Time. Demon just looking so comfortable versus Marco here. I don't know if these two have a set history or what that looks like, but Marco looking like he needs to figure something out here and quick. All right, so, so Demon's still comfortable hanging on to the stock here. Not much damage being done in these past few seconds. Just both of these players having such a high level of respect for one another, knowing that if one falls into the other's trap, that can be absolutely devastating. Yeah, just look at all this damage coming off. It just That's half a stock right there. And now Demon just does what he does best. Hitting the return hitbox of Boomerang with a Witch Time and managing to actually take the stock off of it. Incredible conversion of two stocks to one. Three stocks to one now. And we have to consider the clock here too. You know, Demon obviously probably not going to go for the timeout, but it's something to consider, right? Because look how much of a percent deficit there is. Not... What is going on? Okay, Demon, you're nuts. Three stock coming out there from Demon. Absolute demolition. Wow. That's all I can say as well. Just absolutely incredible gameplay. Like, look at that.